This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. I got a really fun topic to talk to you about today. Hermes. What else? Chanel. What else? Roseanne Barr. Anything else? Yes, also the CC Spy. It's the four of us together. Um, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube while you're at it. Thumb up the video, follow me, all that good stuff. I live stream every Saturday. Be sure to join the live streams and partake in the conversation here. So we have our wonderful co-chatters in the live chat right now. Let me cue in Laura. Hello, the CC Spy. Hello, Hello again. darling. Let's also, let's cue in. Well, first of all, be sure to follow Laura on Instagram at the CC Spy. Her handle is right at the bottom of the picture. And let's cue in Roseanne. So Laura, I sent you the picture you've seen already, right? Roseanne Barr with her Birkin yes. Chanel bag. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think about this? I love it. She's on a double journey. She's got a return ticket. <laughs> she's been there. She's coming back. She's been there and she's coming back. <laughs> you guys. Okay, so I know that it, it is a kind of a, a political kind of thing, very polarizing. Uh, Roseanne Barr might not be liked by many. I adore her. I, I just, I, I don't care what political beliefs she has. Um, I love her since the 90s, since the Roseanne show. She just delivers for me um the comedy and she's very misunderstood in many ways and she says some weird stuff but whatever i'm not here to justify what she does the woman is her own woman she does what she does she always makes me laugh however and i gotta say the birkin and that she just don't give half an f and fly an f and just she just maybe she did it herself maybe somebody did it for her on a birkin painted a double c and call it a day. I think it's amazing. I'm living for this. It's a new, uh, this is not a pipe. This is not a Birkin or a Chanel. It's a Magritte moment, definitely. It's a Magritte moment. It's very much a Magritte moment. Very much the Cecina peep, right? Or the, the, this is not a pipe. This is not a Birkin. This is or this is not a Chanel. We don't know what this is. <laughs> I think she's having fun with the um, capitalistic sort of uh, fascination that we have with logos and brands. I think, it's a, I think it's a statement. She's making a very clear statement. I think so too, very clear statement. And of course, I mean, we can dispute about, you know, what we, she's rich, okay? <laughs> the woman has worked her ass off her whole life. She's been on television, comedy theater. Like she can afford to buy a Birkin and cut it. You know, she could pull a Jeffree Star if she wanted to destroy a bag. Sorry, you know what I mean? It's not like we have to approach this from a different standpoint. We're not supposed to think, oh, my gosh, you can only afford one bag and then you do this to it. This is from a point of view of a person. And But listen, but also I got to say, I've seen her with this bag often. It's not that she just used it for this one photo. She actually really goes around with this bag a lot. She loves this bag. This is not that she made just because or that she bought just because of let's make fun of it. She really believes in this. And like you said, Laura, I, I agree with you. I think that this is a very, very intelligent statement uh, made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I reckon she paid with some of these. What do you think? Now, you guys, <laughs> Laura also has something to show us. I was going to get to it, but she beat me to the pun. Um, <laughs> Laura's new art piece, you guys. Yes, I'm working. I was inspired by somebody else that, who did this in, in Paris. And he also painted some Louis Vuitton bags and, uh, and some other sort of logos. Uh, but I'm going, I'm going to make um, a display with this um, to represent my journey and how my money bleeds when I have to pay for those increases. This is the year of uh, Chanel runaway inflation. I call totally. It. it is It is literally the financial runaway inflation crisis of Chanel. The bleeding yes. dollar. Yes. <laughs> the bleeding dollar. And I think uh, she paid with some of these and she has a statement to make 
whether we like, uh, have, like you say, her views or not is, 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 is not the point here. I think it's a very good point that she made. And as I always say, you know, my favorite Hermes color is the orange color. So that Birkin in orange is perfect. And then you see they kept the Chanel logo in white because Chanel is black and white. I mean, there's a little bit of silver going on there. And of course, there's a twilly moment. Then she has her little, I don't know if it's a Pegasus or which horse she has there. Probably an Hermes horse hanging over there. Twilly, a little tassel. I mean, the whole works. Loving. I'm living for it. Yeah. She put up a lot of, it shocked me when I saw so many sort of little dangly bits, but again, that didn't come out right, sorry. Um, all those little um, things on the bag. It's been a long day. All the... <laughs> We're going to go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, my God, my stomach. <laughs> I wish I had a Chanel fan. Is that she put them all on the bag to prove the point of those people who <laughs> buy them all and they put them all on the bag? I can't it. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she was like hold, hold, hold. Let me be serious for a moment. Dying and like and Roseanne Barr is just like looking. <laughs> 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 this, this, this. Oh my God! This is modern day. <laughs> this is surrealism, you guys. Um, it don't get much more surrealistic than this. No, it's the ready-made. It's the ready-made object. That's what she did. Like Duchamp. It's not a urinal. <laughs> Is something else. <laughs> Your anal. <laughs> you're right. You know the urinal. Yeah, I know the urinal. Yes, I know the urinal, but your anal. You did say oh, you're anal. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deschamp, yeah, you're anal. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so okay. Silala says, Oh my god, you got You know, it's the ready made a ready made object. That's what she did. That definitely. And you know what? It wouldn't even surprise me. Now I love Roseanne Barr, so I don't want to say, oh, is it a fake or a real bag? It doesn't even matter. It's the fact that, you know, I don't know. I mean, it probably is real, but it doesn't even matter because at this point, it's it's something else. You know, it's that ready-made. Um, <clears throat> Maria says, I was cringing at first, but on second thought, I love the quirkiness of this bag. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, Esther C says that bag is what the Gucci for Balenciaga aspires to be, you know, their hacker project, but an actual anarchic oh, yes. artistic self-motivated statement. Sobi says, OMG, Marianne yeah. says, I'm living for it. Everybody's laughing. So anyway. <laughs> um, I think that uh, Balenciaga Gucci is what we call now Mengelian fashion, isn't it? Yeah. What? <laughs> you did this with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we going to do? Are we going to buy some hacker Gucci for Balenciaga? Are we going to do some Fendace? <laughs> yeah, no. Not for me, no. thank you. I mean... I do all my vandalism at home. My brandalism, I do it all at yeah. home. Although, 
I do have a couple of those baguette bags from Fendi Versace that I do like. But let's see, because they're not out yet. It's going to take them a couple of months until they start hitting stores. Let's see how the quality is. Um, but the Balenciaga Gucci thing, a girl, no. <laughs> no. Anyway, no. you guys, this was just a little no. quickie. A quickie. <laughs> From us to you, uh, and thank you so much to Roseanne Barr for being such a good sport and just being a statue in between us. Uh, we love you, Roseanne, um, and it's a disgrace that they kicked you out of the show. Just saying. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow Laura, uh, the CC Spy, and <laughs> 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 Send the dollar bills. Send dollars. <laughs> yes, I pay them for you and then spend them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, be sure to follow Laura on the CC, <laughs> the CC Spy on Instagram and subscribe to my channel while you're at it, will ya? Thumb up this video. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love <laughs> money. and money. Bye.